Hello, welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, uh, Phil Foster. I want to talk to you or maybe just challenge you, and as I challenge myself, to uh, to continue to grow in the faith. Paul said in Philippians 4.13, I press toward the mark for the prize that is the high calling, or another version says the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. So a lot of times people, when they come to faith in the Lord, they, they start out kind of like gangbusters. They they run the race real hard for a few weeks, months, a few years. Then they kind of want to go on cruise control. But but change is important, and we're all creatures of habit. Most of us like to do certain things a certain way, and we've been doing it that way for a long time, and we're real happy. But there's times where we need to we need to keep pressing forward, and that may mean we need to change a few things up in our life. And that applies not only in our, our, our business world or whatever, but also in our spiritual walk of faith. You know, back in the 40s, the Swiss watchmakers controlled about 80% of the market uh, making watches. And uh, they was given an idea to go digital, which they rejected. And, of course, uh, about 10 years ago, last I heard, they still were a major player. They had 20% of the market, but they no longer was in control because they missed the window of opportunity. Don't miss your window of opportunity. Sometimes we think there's nothing good that can come. Someone stood on the floor of Congress at the 1900 said, let's close the patent office. All the great inventions have been done. Well, we know that's silly now looking back. What I'm trying to say is you might think you've reached a place in your walk of faith where you've arrived. You don't need to grow anymore. But Paul said, he said that he had not yet arrived. So if he said even later in his ministry, he needed to continue to grow, how much more should you and I continue to push ourselves to grow? Not because we gain favor with God. He already loves us. But because we want to serve him with all of our heart. So listen, I'm going to uh, kind of leave it there for today. I want to challenge you to keep on uh, spending time with the Lord in prayer and the Word and the house of the Lord and uh, reaching out, sharing your faith and your testimony with others. Until we get together next time, may God bless you. And hey, have a great day.